just about to do some preaching um, on the border. Queensland and New South Wales, this is called Ghana. I want to uh, read a few verses from John chapter 5, John chapter 5 and verse 21. The Lord Jesus Christ speaking, For as the Father raiseth up the dead and quickeneth them, or makes them alive, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should honour the Son even as they honour the Father. He that honoureth not the Son, honoureth not the Father which has sent him. Verily, very, or truly, truly, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, and believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself, and hath given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice, and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. See, what we've got to understand is this. We're sinners in the sight of God, and we need God's salvation. The Lord Jesus Christ died upon the cross for the sins of the whole of humanity, so that you and I could have forgiveness for our sins. That forgiveness is only possible through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. The one who died upon the cross can be your Saviour tonight. Wonder what will you do then with Jesus, which is called the Christ. He's the chosen one of God. The one that came down from heaven to die on that cross. Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Your soul can be saved. You can be at peace with God. Your sins can be forgiven only through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Don't miss out on God's salvation. He doesn't want any of us to perish. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Just come to God and agree with him that you're a sinner, that you sin in his holy sight. That you need God's salvation. And that his son died upon the cross. And then when you believe on him, when you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do matter have you called upon the name of the Lord for your eternal salvation? You can do that right now, wherever you are. Just come in repentance toward God. Acknowledge that you're a sinner before the God of heaven and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, a question was asked a long time ago, what must I do to be saved? The simple answer was, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved.